Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at the Scorpio Taurus relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple, this connection, in this connection. Um, all right, so let's take a look. What I'm finding actually is Scorpio, uh, in pretty much all the readings, is looking for some kind of time. We see the Temperance card reversed here in this connection. All right. Um, I feel like you guys, Scorpio, just you individually, you may have fallen off your spiritual path a little bit or fallen off some kind of calling that you have, something that you're meant to do, something that a path is a path that you're on and it's something that you're meant to do. And I feel like there's going to be some kind of delays with it. All right. I feel like there are going to be delays because maybe there are some lessons that need to be learned or something like that. I'm not quite sure. But, um, but what I do see is that there are some things that are going to take place. But you're being advised to allow time for things to play out naturally here. Allow divine timing to come in to kind of change the dynamic of some situation that you're in, which I believe has to do with this relationship. I feel like it has to do with your relationship, but I also have, I feel like it has to do with um, goals in your life. All right, so I do see that, guys, for you guys, all right? So you're being advised to relax and let something play out naturally. For you guys, also, I have the Queen of Pentacles energy. This talks about you having a very reliable partner, which is your Taurus here, all right? Um, I feel like this is definitely a reliable partner for you. We do see that because uh, Queen of Pentacles does come up under Earth energy. So, I mean, this definitely could be your partner. I'm showing that your partner, Taurus, is extremely supportive of you, right? I feel like they're a great partner. I feel like uh, they could be your wife. I feel like... Um, I do feel feminine energy. This could be your wife or whatever, however it plays out for you. Um, um, I feel like this person is very close to you. This person could be the mother of your children, however you look at it, the father of your children, whatever that means to you. So I feel like this person is extremely close. I feel like this, if, if you are guys are not married, I feel like this is a long-term relationship or I feel like you're probably common law by now. Um, also, what I'm showing here for you, Scorpio, is that you might be having some kind of conflict here. So I'm not sure if this is your energy. I do see the Seven of Swords. This talks about you might be running away from something. It talks about there could be some dishonesty here. It could be betrayal. All right. So it could be you could feel like maybe something something has been stolen from you. Maybe somebody took a piece of your heart and you're trying to make it mend. All right. But when I take a look at Taurus here, I see the Ace of Wands. This talks about Taurus finally standing up. Okay. I'm going to laugh when I want to laugh. All right. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to stand up for myself because I feel like for a long time, um, I don't know that you were necessarily uh, not standing up for yourself. I feel like you always say what you have to say, but I feel like I feel like in this situation, you may have sat back and watched a little bit. Like, you never took your love away, but I'm going to sit back and watch as you go through this thing that you're going through, as you heal. Because I feel like there's some healing from that Scorpio has to deal with. All right? I feel like even with the Seven of Swords, when I look at the King of Cups next to it, it tells me that you are absolutely blessed to have the partner that you have, Scorpio. All right? So when I look at this, I kind of... It is possible that somebody's feelings here could carry over from other relationships or it could be you taking your time to finally understand that certain behaviors need to change all right and you do have a very supportive partner here um all right so let's take a look at this i feel like there have been some disagreements in this connection all right and i feel that way because the justice card comes up all right i feel like there were some disagreements i feel like there could have been heated arguments in this situation this could actually have to do with um you know, truths coming out, people being honest about their feelings, honest about what it is, all right, and really not holding anything back. So I feel like that's where Taurus is at this point, all right? I feel like Taurus is looking for some kind of balance, and I feel like the balance is coming because I do see where you guys are looking to expand. So there might be an agreement if things continue like this, if things get better, you know, after a time of watching something, I think, watching behaviors, being fairly treated, equal give and take justice I feel like once that comes about right and I feel like you guys might be honest right now I don't quite know because I still feel like we're still trying to come to grips with some behaviors with Scorpio or some leftover feelings from something that might make them insecure but I do see with your love 
whatever that means. Okay, so I do feel like you guys are looking for some justice in a situation that once had discord. All right, and I also see where you guys are trying to become more stable as a couple. All right, you guys are actually blessed to have each other. This is a mature, intelligent relationship. There's deep love. There's deep support. Now, there are some opportunities here. All right, you guys might have some conflicts here that need to be worked on. You guys still might be trying too hard to make things happen too soon. All right, some of you guys need to loosen this grip of what you expect to be magical. All right. I feel like for some of you guys, um, there's going to be some kind of financials coming in because I just I just see that. I see there might be some choices in finances. I think there might be some choices in behaviors. Do I want to continue to behave like this? So I do see a variety of things here with the Ace of Pentacles. You guys could be desperately trying to make something come together and it may not be the time. All right. Some of you guys could be trying to get new jobs as a couple to reestablish this. Some of you guys could think about investing in things. Maybe you're taking your time to research what it is you're investing in. I am getting that. I feel like some of you guys are waiting on a job, a new one. I feel like some of you guys might be waiting for more money so you can go ahead and continue on to the next level of this relationship. I feel like you guys want children or you want to expand your family or you want to buy something. You want property, something. But I do still feel like this Seven of Swords here, I want to figure out what this is about, all right? All right, so with the Seven of Swords, this is theft, betrayal, dishonesty, and running away from something. Tell me more about Scorpio and the Seven of Swords, please. Tell me what I need to know using the angels. What is this, romance angels? Yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. Tell me more about this. <sighs> this could be some of the behaviors. Let go of control issues. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like, well, hold on. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, hold on. Yep, I think you guys belong together. Chemistry. There's definitely strong chemistry. Codependency. Okay, so I'm going to point out some of the things that I see here uh, for you. Wait, where do they go? So love yourself first. This one. Love yourself first. Let go of control issues. Chemistry. Yes, this is your soulmate. It came out reverse, so you might still be thinking about that and trying to figure that piece of it out. Codependencies. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of um, I feel like there's a lot of insecurity on the end of Scorpio. I'm gonna be honest with you because the love yourself first card suggests that you have not been loving yourself and not getting the results that you want. Results that you want only come when you truly love yourself. So I feel like there's some leftover things from the past for you, Scorpio, that you might need to continue working on. Um, I also see here for Scorpio, hold on, what was the next one? Let go of control issues. I feel like little by little, this is going to take time to do, but I do feel like this is one of the behaviors that we're talking about. So we're talking about insecurity. We're talking about control issues, which also kind of further, further confirms, um, uh, you know, those, those issues with insecurities. I also see where you believe there's some chemistry in this connection, which I think you do. I think you guys have a nice chemistry where you laugh. And I think you guys balance each other out and hold each other up. When I'm down, you're up. I'm a, And you know exactly how to help each other out in a sense. I think you guys learned each other. Soulmate. Yes, this is my soulmate. I think sometimes with... Because I do see where there were some disagreements here. There were some ways or some ways that Scorpio had or some ways that Taurus had where you guys were just like not in tandem about it. There were some disagreements about it. So I figure now you might be wondering, like anybody else in a relationship, is this my soulmate? Is this a person I'm supposed to be with? Can we get past this? I see those questions kind of coming to an end here. Codependency might still be an issue as well. I think there's a lot of emotional dependency in this relationship. Okay, so a lot of emotional ups and downs. But the good thing about you guys is you got each other. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me take a look and see. Taurus, what's going on with you? Tell me what's going on with Taurus. What do I need to know about Taurus? What do I need to know about Taurus? Taurus and Justice. Tell me about Taurus and Justice, please. Taurus and Justice. Mm. Honeymoon. Enjoy bliss. Okay, okay. Now, with the Justice card, I see where you guys are finally getting past some kind of conflicts that have been hindering the relationship, right? So here we do have the Honeymoon card where you guys are going to go ahead and enjoy the holidays together whenever your holiday starts. You're going to enjoy that time together. It's kind of like you're going to retreat and get to know each other kind of all over again. All right, let's see. Forgiving and learning. Wow, that's awesome. 
Taurus, I think you are forgiving and learning because I think you see the work being put in. You deserve love and you do understand that you deserve love. I don't think that there's a question with you. I think that you, it's more of, I think Taurus is pretty confident in who Taurus is. In this particular dynamic that I'm seeing, I'm looking at somebody here um, who understands or starting to understand that there are some things that they, ne they need to let go of. Otherwise, you could jeopardize losing this connection, which is pretty good. All right. I see while you guys are on this path of happiness or, you know, um, reigniting passion or whatever this is, I feel like there are opportunities, like I was saying, on a job front, investment front, whatever this means to you. But I feel like there's going to be some success there. I do see Taurus, um, you know, notice everything with Taurus is upright, right? The only thing is we just need to let Scorpio have some time. And like I said, I've been seeing this in all the Scorpio readings. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, I put this, I'm going to put these down here. I pulled them under justice, but you guys, I don't think there was ever a question for Taurus. Well, Taurus did not question their self-worth. Taurus didn't question anything about, um, uh, pretty much, you know, anything having to do with, uh, self-esteem or anything like that. I see that more on the end of Scorpio, but where I do see, I see that Taurus is looking for some kind of newness here, Right. I feel like you guys are looking to get into something new. I see ace. I see ace. I feel like you're waiting for your partner to get on the same page with you. But I feel like you are making plans. And you know because of what we're working with, the type of the type of energy that we're working with here with Scorpio is going to take some time to get to it. Let me just see if there is. You know what? In this case, because I see, I see you guys are trying to achieve something. It might be financial. I think you guys are trying to get a balance of love before you expand and grow a relationship. So what I'm going to do, because I already pulled Romance Angels, I'm just going to pull some fortune cards. Give me a card or two for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio, what can Scorpio look forward to? Mm, okay, it's reversed. There's going to be a surprise. There's going to be a delay. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Mm, okay. So if some of you guys are single and coming out of this situation, there's a surprise coming. But overall, when I look at this individually... There's going to be some kind of a disappointment followed by a surprise, okay? So this is going to be some situation that you're going to ha uh, find some some sort of light in. Give me one more, please. One more. for Give me one for Taurus. One for Taurus. One for Taurus. Individual. In difficult times, be on your guard against chaos as all unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Okay. So I feel like with you guys, this is just a forewarning. That you are dealing with somebody here um, who might have some emotional things that they need to fix. So it could be a time of turmoil for you. But I see where I'm dealing with you. It looks like you're strong. Let me see what else we need to know here. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. Yup, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. I wanted to follow up on that. Um, give me one more, please. Let me just ask for one more. Give me one more for Scorpio. Let me just make sure that's commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you are being presented with something. I don't know if Taurus Scorpio is saying, hey, I have some, there's some kind of surprise coming in. All right, and it's something that's going to make you smile. It has to do with this commitment. I think it has to do with the fact that this um, relationship is going to somehow grow. That's what I'm getting out of this. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. We'll take a look and see what's going on with you guys again next month. Scorpio and Taurus, January 2022. Thank you for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Look at that. Okay, so it's not neat, right? It's not neat. But it's better than before. Ha! Ah. All right, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.